ICQB Foundation Level Question 92 The absence of defect fallacy is one of the principles of testing. Which of the following is an example of addressing this principle in practice? A. Explaining that it is not possible for testing to show the absence of defects. B. Supporting the end users to perform acceptance testing. C. Ensuring that no implementation defects remain in the delivered system. D. Modifying tests that cause no failures to ensure few defects remain. Take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to don't miss new ICQB questions and answers that will help you guaranteed and changing your skills. Join us on this learning journey. If you find value in that I do, and my videos help you, then you have the option to donate through the links in the video description to I can release new videos on ICQB questions on a regular basis. Correct answer is B, according to ICQB syllabus. The absence of defect fallacy is concerned with the idea that ensuring correctness in accordance with the requirements, e.g. verifying the absence of implementation defects, does not guarantee user satisfaction with the system. To address this, it is also necessary to validate that the system meets users' needs and expectations fulfills business objectives and outperforms competing systems. By supporting the end user to perform acceptance testing, it should be possible to validate that the system meets user needs and expectations. All the rest of the answers are wrong. Answer A is invalid because the testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects principle, explains that while testing can detect the existence of defects in the test object, it is not possible to demonstrate that there are no defects and therefore guarantee its correctness. Therefore, Explaining that it is not possible for testing to show the absence of defects would particularly address this principle and not the absence of defect fallacy. This answer deals with testing principle 1. Answer C is invalid because it is not possible to ensure that no implementation defects remain in the delivered system as the testing shows the presence, not the absence of defects principle, explain that while testing can detect the existence of defects in the test object, it is not possible to demonstrate that there are no defects and therefore guarantee its correctness. This answer deals with testing principle 1. Answer D is invalid because modifying tests that cause no failures to ensure few defects remain is one way to address the tests wear out principle. This principle is concerned with the idea that repeating identical tests on unaltered code is unlikely to uncover novel defects and therefore Modifying tests may be essential. This will not validate that the system meets user needs and expectations. This answer deals with testing principle 5. My recommendation. Please figure out all seven principles with examples 
and don't mix up them. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.3, testing principles in the ISTQB syllabus, where we can see that the testing principle 7 is absence of defects fallacy. I suggest you figure out all seven principles on you all. I do think that you are an incredibly talented person, and it will be ridiculously easy for you to answer such kinds of questions if you figure out all the ISTQB questions on my video channel. All this information is absolutely free for you. And then, passing the Certified Tester Foundation level exam will not be a dream, but a reality. Never give up.